Thank you once again, Mr. Chairman. I am very tired. Um, I, I normally, yes, sir. I normally try and do a little excerpt so that I can say and sync what I'm saying to you all, and I don't sound as if I don't know if I have a clue. But right now, I probably don't. So, but um, this is this is Mr. Brian Reno. Um, he's the owner of Reno's. Thank you. Uh, the, the property is located at 2124 U.S. Highway 41 South. Uh, it's situated on the northeast corner of U.S. Highway 41 South and Davis Road East. This, this is a non-conforming um, structure <coughs> on the site and that uh, the, the structure did not meet uh, the ULBC setback uh, regulations. And this is why Mr. Brian is before you all today. Brian is proposing to do a 60 by 30 addition to the existing building on the western side. That would be the US 41 side. Um, the US 41 side, he meets that set by it's off the Davis Road side that we um, fell short. And that is why um, Brian is here before you guys today. He prepares, he does paint and body work. He's saying that I need this new space so that I can work on the new model type car. And the relief he's asking for on Davis Road, <coughs> the actual variance that he's requesting. Brian, help me with this one. Um, we calculated. May I have him? Yes. Um, and I, I tried to look at the drawing and I. We really have the the it's it's not conform that this structure would be enlarged. I know, it's but not, we, it's not we're, we're dealing with a setback and we're not giving some footage. No, no. It's only that it'd be enlarged, not I don't see anything about setback. Yeah, well, it was not conforming initially Correct. because he did not meet the setbacks. Well, we changed to the ULBC. So, I mean, today he does not meet the setbacks. Now, when he does this addition, it's going to be even the more um, non-conforming. Enlarging a non-conformance is basically right. what we're doing. And Mr. Strickland is asking me, well, what, what's the distance should you be from um, Davis Road? And we figured that out. Um, initially, uh, we, I apologize to you, I don't know what the numbers were. But, um, I thought that we came up with 90 from the, the Davis Road so, But I can assure you guys, I've been doing this for 18 years. I'm tired. I know how to do setbacks. We calculated that stuff. It was proper. We knew he was short. Thus, we completed the application to come before you to ask for a relief. Mr. Strickland, I do not know the right way with of Davis Road. That would be a determinant. And telling you what you want to know. I do believe that when. Okay, so that would have been. Okay, so whenever you're on a corner lot, the code says you take your primary setback, which would have been on the 41. Then you take 80% of that, and that will tell you what your setback should be off of your, your smaller street. If those numbers are correct and they sound right, um, I believe we came up with uh, Brian needed, needed to be 120 feet from the center line of the road. But what I'm saying today is I do not know if I'm dealing with a 50 foot right of way or a 60 foot right of way. Um, let's
70 from the insurer. And he should be 120 from the center line. Center. He's 70 from the center line. So he's yeah. He's currently 70 from the center line. He should be 120, so he needs a 50-foot barrier. I'll take it. Okay. The only reason I'm asking for that is I did not want to create something and I, that's not specific and then it comes back and bites us later. Yes, and I should have had that for you. And when we calculated that, um, I was so sure that I was going to be able to rely on the schematic that I have here in the packet, but what I didn't think of at the time was um, I didn't have my right of way with in the in the okay. event. Okay, any questions, any discussion? Thank you very much. Is anyone here in support of this application would like to give us any additional information? Anyone here in opposition to this application or has questions about what's being presented? Can I entertain a motion on this request? Unless somebody's got further discussion. Uh, I make a motion that we grant uh, the variance as presented, uh, citing criteria D. I have a motion. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second, Gretchen. All in favor, raise your hand. All opposed. Number one is your count. <coughs> Go with it. Make it light. Make it look good. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, minutes. Anybody make a, have anything to say about the minutes? I get a motion to accept them as presented. Motion to accept. Hold me in motion. Second. Hold me in second. All in favor. Raise your hand. Order zero one afternoon from the origin. Okay. Uh, does anybody want to talk about the attendance review? <laughs> if we need to, we'll bring it up again later. All right, before we adjourn, everybody remember we have a Thursday night. 7.30 on the dais. Um, they were booked Tuesday evening for uh, an area that would accommodate a group of the size. They had one Thursday evening, but they were figuring that they would be leaving about 7 or a little after, which is why we signed up for 7.30. So 7.30 Thursday evening on that. And it is? Paid for by the county. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> bring, 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 bring your $20 bill, because the county is not going to bring $21 bill, <laughs> and the city is not going to bring a matching fund. <laughs> we are bringing spouses, right? Yes. That's this Thursday. Mm -hmm. This Thursday. Day after the off. Right. Okay. Uh, I'll be there. Would you please send everybody a little reminder, email? I'll be Thank you. Any other business we need to talk about? New business, old business? Nobody's business? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. I'm sorry it ran out. Uh, we stand adjourned.